You know when you wipe, but it's like you didn't really do a good job. I have I can't a theory. Re- I have a theory that you've never wiped in your life. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you there's particles of poop and pee on the end of your hair. <laughs> Wait, didn't we already establish that you you wipe the wrong back, direction? Yeah, back to front, like the wrong direction. Hold on. <laughs> she hasn't changed, Annie. We haven't taught her a thing. Yeah, she still does it. Yeah, so it's you basically cute. haven't wiped your whole life. You just brought the bad stuff to the good stuff. No, I don't dig it in my ass and then bring it out. I, You know what I'm saying? Soft swipe? No. <laughs> she doesn't wipe, guys. I do This wipe. is Esther pretending she wipes. No, but sometimes when you're in a rush and you don't fully wipe all the way and it's like you're still wet, but not in the good way. Kind and of when yeah. you're out of... What do you do when you're out of toilet paper, though? But if you wipe, you're not still wet. Say what you said that you do without when you were. Oh, the when the, when we're out of toilet paper, I'll use the um the cardboard thing and I'll wipe. That's a good one. That gets it all. That's. Do you sit there and soften it first? No, I scrape it out. I scrape that it is out. so <laughs> crazy that you do out. that. I bet you go in the comments. Hello, I can't be the only one. I you it's are. Great, it's great. You are. I wouldn't use it for my butt though. Oh, but the you would. It's such a yeah. hard thing. You scrape. See, I would scrape the butt with cardboard, but I have done this. Um, in the Philippines, uh, toilet paper is scarce. Upping um, the Annie. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> we have a new segment. <laughs> Let add me add all of our other segments. I'm gonna up your Annie. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, up your Annie. <laughs> um, so in the Philippines, toilet paper is not they they don't give it out for free in like the public restrooms and whatnot. So it's like every man for himself. Do you have really. to pay, can you pay for it, or it's just not there? Um. Like now they're a little bit better in like the malls and, and stuff, but like b- growing up, like you basically have to bring your own toilet paper, your own wipes, or you're just literally out of luck. So what I would do, I went to an all girls Catholic school towards the end of my stay there. Saint, shout out St. Teresa's, but- um, Shout out our sponsor, St. <laughs> Teresa's. Our sponsor, the Philippines all girls school. What's up? <laughs> Run by nuns. <laughs> we want to teach, the nuns love us. They play us every Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> they say, look, we we watched it. We checked it out. It, it It's clean. You guys can watch it. You're going to learn a lot of really appropriate things. And so what I would do, because my mom would not, you know, send me to school with toilet paper, is during class, um, anytime I had like maybe a minute to spare, I would take lined paper and I would soften it. So I would have a stack of softened lined paper oh to God. use as toilet paper and... That's what I used to wipe with in a crunch. That That's actually sounds set nice. list. She's like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds soft, softened paper, hand softened paper by Kalila. Like I would buy that. Well, she can use it as paper mache and then make uh, a mold of her own behold. <laughs> behold? Behold the behold. But I, I, if you guys are at home, you're in a crunch, and but there is lined paper sitting around. Are you I'm telling what you, just looking at how pretty she is. <laughs> like, what is she talking about? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Stop throwing your money away, cancel unwanted subscriptions, and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash trash Tuesday. And guess what? That's rocketmoney.com slash trash Tuesday. Rocketmoney.com slash trash Tuesday. For a limited time, Nutrafol is offering our listeners $10 off your first month subscription and free shipping when you go to Nutrafol.com and enter promo code TRASH. Find out why over 3,500 healthcare professionals recommend Nutrafol for healthier hair. Nutrafol.com spelled N-U-T-R-A-F-O-L.com. Promo code TRASH. That's Nutrafol.com. Promo code TRASH. Guess what, Rick? Our listeners get 20% off their first Liquid Death apparel purchase. Why? The the clothes are so cool. Why would anyone need even a percentage off? This This offer is available exclusively at liquiddeath.com slash trash. Exclusions may apply. That's liquiddeath.com slash trash. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash trash Tuesday today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash trash Tuesday. Hi, you guys. I am on tour. It's called the Dream Without a Dream Tour, if you know the reference, Brittany. Um, Next week are all my shows in New York City. We added one more show, so July 19th through 23rd. I'll be at Joe's Pub. I'm very excited. I cannot wait. New York is my favorite city in the world. I can't wait to see you guys there. And after that, I will be at Oxnard, D.C., Boston, Madison, Wisconsin, San Diego, Detroit, Chicago, San Jose, Irvine. Get tickets at estarnice.com. Love you, mean it. Hi, Sluggies. I'm on the road. Welcome to Annie Wood Tour. You can see me at my very exciting birthday show, One Night Only in Las Vegas at Wise Guys on July 20th. I will be in Greenville, South Carolina, July 28th and 29th. I'll be in Philadelphia, August 11th and 12th. 
I'm going to be at the Great Outdoors Comedy Festival in Calgary with Andrew Schultz, August 27th. I'll also be in San Francisco, Austin, and a bunch of other places. So go get tickets at annieletterman.com slash shows. All I so think about is your nipples. Yeah, I can't get over I can't get over the, the width of your neck. <laughs> So today is the Barbie themed episode. <laughs> um, oh wait, before we go, guys, click the bell. There's a lot of comments that oh, you're yeah. not getting. The, you're not getting the episode sent to you. Great, well said. Very uh, well I said. I did go some mushrooms, but <laughs> very well articulated. <laughs> I'm on mushrooms. It's the Barbie episode, but um, click the bell for the notification. Is that right? Not too. Yeah. So we're having yeah. some algorithm. Uh, go ahead. No. Subscribe to the uh, subscribe. show and, and subscribe. get the notifications. Yeah. Click the bell for notifications. <laughs> and also, I would say, I'm not too uh, ashamed to say, if you're a fan, make sure you're watching all the way through. Watch time is very important in the algorithm, and the algorithm doesn't like us because there's a lot of men out there who think we're whores, and they're mad. So we need you guys to help fight them. And then thank you to the nuns at St. Thomas School. And oh. Teresa, <laughs> Teresa. <laughs> she said St. Thomas. You turned it masculine. Do you hate men or not? I'm a pick-me girl. <laughs> She's a pick-me Christian, Christian girl. <laughs> what did you guys used to do to your Barbies? How did you play with Barbie? Well, what was your method of play? Let me open the gates real quick. I did you wanted... have to use Skipper because it was the only one that looked like you? Fuck you. Who's Skipper? <gasps> oh, Esther, you came as the Down syndrome Barbie. That's so Oh my God. <laughs> you can't say that. Just because I have brown hair. Anyways, uh, I would also, when, when I would play with my Barbies, I would like, I would fart and then be like, my Barbie farted. <laughs> I have friends who still bring that up to me. <laughs> Oof. I mean, I don't know how my parents thought that I wouldn't I wouldn't show them on a the doll where the bad man hurt me. You know what I mean? Like all my Barbies were either decapitated, <laughs> like had sharpied periods on them, had mutilated breasts. Like I was, it was you like cannot you give knew, a diddle kid you a Barbie. Foresaw, you foresaw you getting your breast implants out? <laughs> <laughs> no, but you can't give a diddled kid a Barbie. She's she's weird about her body already she's looking at this like ideal version of a woman that's like so you know beautiful yeah I, I drowned my barbies like it was some my dolls got murdered they went through like well you were just trying to be like your uncle <laughs> you were trying to fit in with your See, family. barbie was my original hot girl like i worshipped her i wanted to be like her i would fucking fantasize so hard about having those clothes that she had they were so cool i couldn't wait. why didn't you put them on they fit you i couldn't <laughs> wait to be an adult to have those kinds of clothes that would fit me we should make you like velcroed clothes where you can just velc just take them off of velcro okay now we have a business i think we do <laughs> for lazy clothes. girls um what about you and i bet you didn't play with you didn't know i bought you dolls Barbies. no they did but my mom was like she had a lot of like She'd be like, oh, I just don't get Barbies. So then I'd be like, all right. And I would have to make them like fight and like bang my brother's um, G.I. Joe men. What? I'd have to make Again. them do like, ma like I would have to make them like fight and be like. Again, diddle baby. I'm telling you. Yeah. I had the pregnancy one too. What's the pregnancy one? No. Wait, Barbie got pregnant? Barbie got pregnant and then you could just take the baby out of the stomach. She must have had a miscarriage since it didn't really. I wonder if her baby was the same size as yours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we didn't get pregnant Barbie in the Philippines. I feel we like didn't we're have like 10 years there. behind. Is that scary? Oh my God, that's the scariest Ooh, thing that's I've ever novel. seen. That's really scary. Well, it's better than giving her a vag, I guess. Girls aren't ready for that. But look at her legs, thigh gap. Barbie's vagina really messed up men because that's what men expect now. And we expect a nice smooth Ken doll. We expect no penis. Ooh, no. We expect, that's why balls are such a shock to us. <laughs> I've never in my life found um, Ken remotely attractive. Hell no. No, Ken was not hot. He always seemed like the gay friend. And that's weird because I love half gay boys. <laughs> Didn't Ken always see like, seem like they were just yeah. going shopping together? Wait, okay. I actually have this this interesting question. Do you, I, to me, do you have a guy or have you ever had a guy in your life where... I need you to like dig deep and think about this, okay? And I just, for the viewers, I want you guys to know this is no one I'm talking about that you would know or that's in our business at all, whatever. But like- Tony or Redman. No, no. A guy who like, you see pictures of him, but you know him, right? In pictures of him, you're like, he is so fucking hot. I want to 
fuck him like his body is hot whatever but actually him as a person and you know him like it could be a friend or whatever you're just like it's just not there his 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 energy his personality something about him ruins it but like his actual physical body i if you took his soul out it would be fuckable it's a great vessel yeah great do you vessel, have that that's it i feel like I that's so. why i didn't ever date haka i like never had hot boyfriends until i was a little bit older because why because i never liked their person they were annoying i didn't like that they thought they could have me too because my older brothers i always felt like there was just like power dynamic my older brother's friends would like kind of mess with me and I always felt like they were pranking me I could never tell if they were being for real yeah I mean it's hard for me I think what you're saying is a little bit hard for me because immediately knowing how he is in person what I would I would look at him through that filter I know what you're saying and I am the same way but there's a few rare instances where I can I don't know if it like comes to me in a dream where like I can sort of like find the attraction but then it's only his body, truly a vessel of him is attractive. Um, okay, so I can objectively find people like, oh, he's, you know, handsome, pretty, but have zero, like, yeah. desire to even, like, I can't even think about them sexually. So that's different because that, are, are you saying that is when you see, oh, I can tell he's conventionally attractive and other people would want to fuck him, but I don't? Or are you saying... I know, like, I see, like, oh, like, that is somebody that... Yeah, it is different because conventional attractiveness is different than finding someone physically attractive. Yeah, like I just sort of get lately the whole like how men just look at us as bodies and objects sometimes. I'm like, I kind of get it. Like I saw this man running at like. She was like, I've been engaged for 17 years. I finally get it. (laughs) (laughs) I saw this man running in short shorts and his like thick, hairy, muscular thighs. I was like. (laughs) <laughs> like that's hot i don't know which is not it's weird because i don't know that guy at all and well, I, he he's not hot yeah but see it's like going to like those um like magic mic or going yeah. to like thunder down under like i find it so just repulsive i do to too me. with that said we should go <laughs> <laughs> that said i have tickets to the list. <laughs> um i'm actually starring in it <laughs> I use my other chest plate. (laughs) I love a slow burn attraction, though, where you see them and you're like, you pay them no mind because you're like, oh, like, that's not usually my type. And then either you do stuff together, you get to know them slowly and you kind of those feelings trickle in and you're like, wait a second, like, like something shifted. And why do I find this person like, you know, just like I can't stop thinking about them. That's the best feeling for me. The slow burn, but that first initial burst of a try when you see someone, you're like, "Oh, he's hot." Yeah, it's so boring to me. I like a slow burn. Well, there, you can only go down from there usually. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Mm, but I think, like, if I think about me with Dave, like I saw him had that initial attraction, and then almost had also the slow burn where it's like, "Oh, and I'm getting to know you, and I like." You. I think you can have both. In yeah, prayer. well, obviously, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we keep like pulling it's it's hard for me to like go back to all these guys it's like it's just it's hard to always pull because I'm like I have my guy now so it's like hard to remember I'm always trying to remember like when you get years into a relationship it gets easier to remember <laughs> for some reason because you're like oh I have, I have nothing <laughs> there's nothing I know too much about you um wait side note and I do mean this as an insult to you Annie um I cannot believe how lucky we are that we like the person that you're ending up with. Yes. I cannot believe. Well, I can't believe I found some. I can't believe it. Like the odds of you ending up with a guy that we all hate were so high. <laughs> oh, that. Oh, you're saying that you guys like, I think was even myself. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my God, because I was thinking about it. I was, I did, um, uh, the new show on your mom's house, the um, first, first dates. dates. And she was like asking me all these questions. It was so hard. Like, I wish I had like been more prepared because it was hard to remember. But um, I just was like, she's like, what are red flags? I'm like, I, I don't, I never had red flags. I dated people I hated for years. <laughs> I would date like, wh- I would just stay with them forever. Well, but that's what the Jewish matchmaker says. She's like, date them till you hate them. So oh, even I if- would date them about three years past hating them. I, I mean, I'd be like, <laughs> what? I used to sit in my car when I would come home because I was like, I don't want to go into my house. If my boyfriend would come home, I would see him like his car pulling up. I would just turn the light off and pretend to be asleep, even <laughs> though he saw me turn the light off. 
<laughs> Wait, that's literally the, what me and my dad joke about when if a relative is going to come by the house, we always are like, okay, we're building a panic room, we're turning all the lights <laughs> off, and that's what you did for your point. But it's just so funny, like you just see the light turn off. I'm like, oh, I just happened to fall deeply asleep the second you came here. And he starts ripping pillowcases because uh, you're not going to give up the pussy that night. <laughs> he was he was like angry, but he was like he kept it in more. He was a different one, mm. but he um yeah I just nope. But he was cute, and and when I fucked him, I had to, I did have to think I would have to get a crush on someone else to really bang him hard. <laughs> I'd have to be thinking about someone else, and he was fine. He was handsome, big dick. I just, it, just I just couldn't. Stand you hated him. him. You hated, hated his, his insides. Guy. Yeah. No, that uh, yeah. makes sense. Then it's not his fault. <laughs> Do you, how do you, do you just have to close your eyes or turn the lights off for the other person's yeah, sex? Be, it would be closed eyes, yeah. Yeah. And I'd be like, don't talk. I'm trying to pretend you're someone else. Like, <laughs> we don't say that, but I'd be like, just. I actually think it would be, I mean, role play is basically saying that. I think yeah. it's cool to. Like, let's just pretend it's not you. <laughs> Anyone but you. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, if you've been together for so long, like, you want, yeah, it's. I don't know. I did that my whole relationship, I think, with Bobby. I mean, he was like Brandon the Virgin towards the end. <laughs> he was really shy. He was really thankful. <laughs> you guys should like sell like a, a kit that's like different roles that you guys did. So like so that like people, couples like me and Dave can like buy the kit and be like, oh, You're today I'm Brandon the Virgin. Bitch. It's like you want to fuck her so bad. <laughs> like the ways you try to get around having sex with Kalila. Esther, do you still want to you make? Oh, it'll me? be like you. It'll be like a mask of your face. My <laughs> boyfriend will wear it. <gasps> Esther, do you still want to have sex with me? What do you mean? I. What do you mean by that? <laughs> what do you mean by that? Do you still want to have sex with me? Do you? <laughs> the it tattoo is, is fading, so I don't uh, know. <laughs> I'll get it redone. <laughs> <laughs> that was the darkest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> that was like a weird. I was like, oof. <gasps> I was happy for you, I guess, because wasn't it your first one? Yeah. <laughs> That's you know what that felt like. What you getting that tattoo? Being skinned and I'm worn. I'm so as a... scared of this answer that it's that. There was this. There was this boy that I dated in my twenties, and he's the only boyfriend I would like punch in the dick if I saw him publicly <laughs> to this yeah. day. All my other exes were like were generally like decent people. This guy was not. I don't love where this is going. A month into dating, a month into dating, like he knew that I had a whole family trip to the Philippines planned, like when we first started dating. And Christmas came around and he handed me, he's like, Merry Christmas. And he had tears in his eyes. And the first gift was an album of just pictures of him. It was like the Andrew Keegan mm. um, um, Wait, theme. he sent you pictures of himself? It's an album of pictures of him, like, like. <laughs> headshots basically and the second thing was a ticket to the philippines to join my family and i oh. i did not invite him oh that's so invasive wow. but did you I, let him go he he came yeah but like he he followed he me buy like a week. everyone's tickets or just he bought himself a ticket to go oh, he bought himself a ticket to join me and oh he had tears God. in his eyes i kind of like where i like this guy's plan <laughs> <laughs> I know he this hijacked my family Esther vacation. This is literally how Esther Just bought tickets to share with him. <laughs> so maybe it'll work, the tattoo and the sex thing. You know, eventually I will give in. Okay. She's manifesting something. <laughs> but it is like, it's more charming now that it's fading. The fact that it wasn't fading for a while was also awesome. <laughs> <laughs> we were all worried for a second. <laughs> Are rising prices stressing you out? <laughs> if you're looking for ways to cut costs, you need rocket money. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. I just looked it up. Rocket Money. Wow, a lot of good reviews. That's right. I'll download it now. Look, I have ADD. I need it. It helps me. I have no clue what I'm subscribed to. I'm hemorrhaging money left and right. And let me tell you what Rocket Money will do for you. It will quickly and easily find your subscriptions for you. I and for so much money. Any that you don't want to pay for anymore, just hit cancel and Rocket Money will cancel it for you. It's that easy. Rick, it saves the average person $720 a year. What average person is spending that much money on stuff? All I'm spending us. a lot more than that. All of us. Yeah, I'm bringing the average down. They trick you. Uh, you know, they say the 30 days and then you- You're right. And then it just auto-renews for a year. It and you probably don't even know it's happening. Correct. Wow. 
Rocket Money also helps you manage all your finances in one place and automatically categorize your expenses so you can easily track your budget in real time and also get alerted if anything looks off. Stop throwing your money away, cancel unwanted subscriptions, and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash trash Tuesday. That's rocketmoney.com slash trash Tuesday, rocketmoney.com slash trash Tuesday. You don't have this problem, Rick, but a lot of us girlies after a certain age or because of hormonal stuff, you know, thinning happens. We lose a lot of pretty strands off our head. I know about Nutrafol. They have it for men too. It's not only good for your hair, it's also good for your nails. And I'll tell you yes. something, I have a very sensitive stomach, but I'm able to take these every day. And not only do I feel okay here, I feel great in here because the confidence I've gotten from these strong nails, this thick head of hair, <laughs> and just overall, just feeling like I'm doing something good for my body is worth its weight in gold. Correct. From postpartum to menopause, and no matter the root cause, Nutrafol has four unique formulas to support women, and each is physician-formulated using natural, drug-free, medical-grade tested ingredients. That's what attracted me the most to it. I actually do look at these things. I looked at all the ingredients. I know what they are. I feel safe with them. Four pills a day, baby. Thicker hair. And it what, takes six months. It's good. That's what I love about it is that they don't promise you a quick fix overnight sensation BS. It's the real deal and it takes time and it works. It works if you work it and you're worth it. <laughs> I've gotten my sister-in-law's on it. Everyone in my family's on it. And they, they have the hair it. oils now too. Take the first step to visibly <laughs> thicker, healthier hair for Once a limited time. Nutrafol is offering our listeners $10 off your first month's subscription and free shipping when you go to Nutrafol.com and enter promo code TRASH. Find out why over 3,500 health Care professionals recommend Nutrafol for healthier hair. Nutrafol.com spelled N U T R A F O L.com. Promo code trash. That's Nutrafol.com. Promo code trash. So, why would you guys, uh, I'm curious, be with people that you didn't like? I was scared. <laughs> I think I was person. so like afraid to like, okay, there was two things going on. The guy that I was talking about was very nice and I had never dated a nice guy that was like devoted to me. So I was like, am I an asshole if I give up this person that's like so into me or whatever and so nice to me? Like he wasn't doing anything wrong. He's a he's a perfectly like good guy. He just wasn't for me, you know? And so I was afraid of that and we lived together. So then I was like, oh my God. And then he, I always date guys that are from Jersey. And then, so we meet each other's family. So then you have to like divorce a family. To me, it was just, it was basically being like a coward and not courageous and not brave and feeling like that feeling that always you look back on and can't believe it, but that feeling of being like, oh, what if there's not something better out there, which is like insane to think that. Insane. And even at my age, you still think that when you go yeah. through a breakup. But I think to answer your question, Fancy, like you don't, you go in to this, you go into all of your relationships, like liking them at first. Mm -hmm. And then you just over time, like find out more about them. And you're like, these people are monsters. But he wasn't, you know what I think with mine was different? Because he wasn't a monster, but I never saw like a longevity with him. And then we just got into all of these like mm. contracts and we're like signing leases. I was like, I don't know how this happened. Especially if you're meeting his family like pretty right. early and on. So it was like, I never, so I think I also, it was maybe my resentment towards him was like less even about him and more about the fact that I was like betraying the truth. Like I knew we weren't going to, be together so it was just kind of like this painful thing where I'm like and I just like didn't want to hurt his feelings and it's it really comes down to like a weird narcissistic thing where you're like well and like you listen to people they're like I couldn't live without you and it's like yes they can't you know they absolutely he can't. moved a girl right into my house it was like it was the have, quickest thing I've ever seen in my life have you never dated a girl and thought maybe three months in you're like oof like I actually don't like this person as much as I thought mm, sure but it was a short thing yeah how I short you know what i'm saying like i wouldn't have uh three years passed <laughs> yes that to me seems like yeah. unfair to both people but also for yourself right it's, it's too much oh. burden to to carry 100 percent. and then but also i think it was a lot of like fear of financial stuff because we were like we moved in together because we were broke you know right and then I was like, oh, my God, how am I going to afford to? It's like things that in the end, you're always like, oh, you end up finding the money. Like when you do the right thing, like money just appears to help you usually is what I've noticed when you're not like betraying yourself and this other person. Isn't it wild, though, how many boys, at least for me, how many boys I lived with, I moved in with at such a young age? Like I was moved in with a boyfriend by the time I was 17. And yeah, what are the chances you're going to like stay with this person forever at that age? It's so crazy. Yeah. To do such a grown up thing to move in together. I know. 17. I've lived with every single boyfriend since the age of 17. Yeah. Huh. I think that that is normal for me too, yeah, because me too. 
one, it's expensive to live. Two, the best parts of a relationship are going to bed together and waking up together. It's like it does feel weird, like you're paying for two rents for no reason. Yeah, to- but then I then they then you go out in the world and you meet so many normal adults who have been in long relationships who still have their own places, and you're like, oh, I guess. Yeah. Well, a new that- thing that I've been seeing too, which I kind of find kind of cool, is like I have friends who are married with children who are both busy, successful people who don't live in the same household or even live in the same country. It happens a lot with like people that I know in Asia where their husband works in Hong Kong and the girl has like an entertainment career in like the Philippines, but they're happy. They have children. Oh my God, she has all these like hot Filipino. (laughs) I know. She definitely does. Who are these Filipino entertainers you know? (laughs) I grew up there, you guys. I could have been one. (laughs) You still can you be slash are, are. Yeah. But um, so I, <laughs> and then I have, um, I have friends in New York who've been together for almost 15 years and they still don't live together. And there's, they're a great I like couple. I the idea, but I love being like every time I'm on the road, because Todd's been working now. And so I, he doesn't come on the road with me and I cannot wait to just like get in bed with him. Like, it's like, I just want to be like cuddling with him all the time. He is like has his like work room and slash reptile room. Oh. There's so many reptiles now, it's like really kind of crazy. I mean, I- I've, To come out as like a reptile guy right before we get engaged is like so- <laughs> I, I can't, I, I fucking love you think this he's man. Been- but it's actually, no, but everyone I try to talk shit on him with about it is like, oh my God, what kind of reptiles? <laughs> Tim Dillon came into my house to meet the skink. Like, I was like, I thought we'd be trashing him. I Nobody- love you guys have reptiles. You know what I used to have? Because I had a skink. big- terrarium Arnold. as well do you know that i'm a reptile girl myself i've had i wouldn't taran- be surprised well, no, I, I had a tarantula named boris not a reptile i had another one named charlie it was a desert tarantula but i had two green basklicks what are those those are the ones the lizards that walk on water mm-hmm. this <gasps> when i lived in vegas so i had oh my god that's terrarium. such a perfect place to have a terrarium exactly in vegas and i also were you selling coke too <laughs> no. there's something about owning reptiles where i'm like should we just start selling coke <laughs> and i had um three ferrets I was like a full. And they stole zoo. stuff, right? Don't ferrets steal things from you? Ferrets are so cute and they back their asses into a corner to poo. They never poo out in the open. They always have to back it into a corner. So Aww. their poo stays You're and they. I'm a ferret like. I, can I see know. You doing that. Well, because in Vegas, you can have more. There's more. The exotic animal laws are a little bit. More lax. Less. Did strict. Dave have to check that out before <laughs> he invited you to come with him? <laughs> <laughs> but like one time, Dave and I went to an exotic animal pet store in Vegas and it was, we was like, I met a hedgehog for the first time. It was really, I really want, but they're illegal. Did you do a DNA test? (laughs) We were a match. (laughs) We met on 23 and made technically (laughs) beforehand. We're actually (laughs) using the hedgehog's eggs (laughs) to have children. Are you going to do eggs? No, I don't. You're in such a good health journey right now. It's such a, but do it. You have to do it. I don't, I'm very. Well, you don't have to do it. No, I'm, I'm. I'm really on the fence. Like I'm, I've been very anti egg freezing, but then lately I'm like, uh, is this a mistake? I don't know. I'm so curious how Courtney Kardashian got pregnant again. Definitely through IVF. Yeah, definitely. They didn't, they didn't bang it out. I was like so annoyed by how obviously that was not her telling him for the first time that she was pregnant. Oh At yeah. I mean obviously, but it's like. It should have been. Yeah, that was a fantasy they sold us. Like, she was. And yeah. then you see how much she's showing. Like, you wouldn't have noticed that she's like. <laughs> but you seven saw. Pregnant. It said she was recreating a moment from his music video. Oh, is that what it was? Though? Yeah, which I'm like, no, I guess it was something. No, that's cute. Yeah. I mean, but you just I, blink and you forget all of the Blink 182. <laughs> <laughs> My policy, though, is like, you kind of only get your first pregnancy to like be a big deal and then like once you keep having kids after that it's like do we really have what do you think that if you get pregnant again you're not gonna be well that would i would count that as my first (laughs) yeah okay okay we're gonna (laughs) another one (laughs) you would count your miscarriage as your first no i will if i do choose to get pregnant again which i'm really every day is i don't know um (laughs) i would probably consider that my first would you be like so weirded out when your baby came out with like scales on it if my baby doesn't come out as a dog i'm throwing (laughs) it away like i want a dog baby so badly or i'll take a slink or a skink Skink. what is a skink (laughs) Will you look up a blue tongue skink? For Is me? it the double headed ones? No, double headed. What the fuck, Lila? No, the skinks where their butts look like their head, so that if no. the predator bites, accidentally bites the butt, it's like a defense mechanism. It's like a. 
I didn't make this up, I swear. You know, I you know Blue how you, you say that Todd became a reptile guy like later in it's the game. It's cute though. Um, Look. Oh, and ours that is really is. fat. Ours is really fat. Okay, that's He's like obese. His name's Arnold. We just named him today. Oh, so cute. Can oh. you look up the double headed skink? Mother. Did I make that up? I'm his mother. The double. Yeah. It's, oh my god. I think it's I made this up. Then. I love Todd. <laughs> no, it's really cute. But every time See? I go out of town, he gets a new one. I'm like Todd. You guys named him after my no. accountant. So the first oh. one, um, see the second picture, the butt looks like the the head so that um, if the, pre no, not that one. These are so that cute. One. I would love to have a little Siamese. You see how yeah. that, that way. looks like a full turd. <laughs> Does that not look like, like a, you know what it looks like? It looks like a ferret backed its ass up to <laughs> squeeze that out. Can you believe we all poo? It Kyla, <laughs> Esther's like I'm trying to bang you. Can you? <laughs> I can't believe I've never seen Esther poop in our friendship. Really? You? I feel like you're a little bit. Are you a little like shy and some? I don't think I've even heard you fart. I've for sure uh, done it on Facetime with you, Annie, and I've seen you. Yes. Yeah. We do have a thing at home though where I don't. And I, I don't know if it was always like this or if this is newer, but I don't close the door and Dave will like walk into the bathroom and I'm like, private time. And he's like, this is what doors are for. <laughs> he gets so mad at me. No, you like to be asserting the boundary rather than <laughs> having the boundary be there. <laughs> I want it to be verbal, a verbal experience. Bobby used to do this thing where because he, I was just so secretive about, again, private time. That's um, so cute. Weird. I just don't. In, in the decade we were together, like he never saw me, not once. I don't think he ever really heard me fart ever. When you I broke you up, did you start doing it? He no. never saw you. Yeah, also, you're always that. hiding. Um, but She's hiding behind those tits. He would barge in and then inhale really hard, like <laughs> like this, <laughs> if he knew. Even if I was just peeing, because at the chance that the chance that I was going number two, like he wanted to know like my scent or to humiliate you yeah and i'd be like nothing's happening <laughs> or to I definitely go against everything you asked him <laughs> <laughs> i do that with donut like i love the smell of her farts they're so small and cute so maybe you're like his donut maybe <laughs> like they just maybe they they want what they can't so imagine esther sniffing donut's ass <laughs> so I do just, I mean, I know we do this every episode, but I just love my dog. Yeah, dude. I just love him. I, sick. Sometimes I just will call my friend Mary Lou. I'll just like leave her a message. I'll just voice memo her and I'll be like, my dog's so cute. I love him so much. It's like she probably just like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I don't know why I always send it to her. <laughs> this is crazy that like you've never looked more Pam Anderson, but also you've never looked more Joe Rogan at the same time. Like the because width, the neck. The neck. <laughs> yeah. What if I just pulled my I was bald? <laughs> <laughs> I was Rogan the whole time. <laughs> I'm on it. <laughs> <laughs> they're what so is, bouncy I and know. they're so soft. What does Todd make of the titties? He doesn't want me to wear them because he knows I it, it brings me discomfort. He's like, oh, the boobs again. Like he knows <laughs> I'm gonna be like, help Todd, get them off. Like, Start passing out. I'm like allergic to whatever it is, but it's worth it. If if these weren't so difficult and such a burden, I would be wearing these every episode. Do you know how many episodes I could have used these for? Dude, I'm kind of similar. I I'm pretty sure I'm allergic to like wetsuit material, like the neoprene. Like I always, anytime I have to go dive, I get these like weird patchy bumps yeah. all over my body that are so itchy. I wouldn't know. I've never had a swimsuit. <laughs> I've never. <laughs> Can't wait to shove you in the water. Wait, okay, so I have sort of a controversial topic I want to bring up. And oh my God. Before people are like, start calling me pro pedophile. Oh just, no. We're having a discussion for intelligent people. Oh with, my God. Okay? With me and Annie and Yeah. The oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> You're intelligent this people. This is because Esther molested her friends. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It's not related to that. I had this written down before. Okay. I saw this girl being interviewed and she was talking about, and I was trying to like find out who she was and I literally couldn't. She was talking about how she was dating a guy who would take her shopping, make her buy 
little girl's underwear. He would buy her coloring books and toys and little girl's clothes. It was you the whole time? No, like, I, I was the guy. Out, this is, no, this is you like trying to get us off the trail. You're like, this girl, I couldn't find out who it was. <laughs> <laughs> My friend, uh, her name is Mester. <laughs> um, and then like, so then she would... Like, they would go to his place, whatever, and she would, like, this is, I just want to, I should give, like, trigger warning, I guess, to you guys. No. Like, this is a, this is a disturbing topic, and it made me uncomfortable. But so then, like, she would, like, color in her coloring book, and then essentially, like, act like a little kid, and then they would engage in sexual activity. And I didn't really get a sense about how this girl felt about it. So this, this discussion isn't really about that situation it just made me think like it made me really sick to my stomach and like uncomfortable when I heard that but then I was like well what if you are someone who is born as a pedophile and you are attracted to children and then instead of like molesting kids you yeah. act it out in a safe way like is that okay is that bad are you asking your ex-boyfriends or <laughs> Well, um, we had Margaret. It's just okay to have a crush on you now. <laughs> At 35, you look, you finally look like you're 19. <laughs> Thank you. Sure. Like, what if you were with someone? It, <laughs> this is, I know, it's your job. Jo do you think that someone's going to me to pretend to be a baby with my voice and shit? <laughs> but let's People just with, say. People like, with grandma fetishes come to me. And you know what is... <laughs> Like yeah, Annie and I are not. Um, I don't read childlike. What's We're crazy? not targets for pedos like, I've never, anymore. <laughs> <laughs> anymore. We were. I do feel the very strong necessary urge to say I've never had been approached about this either. Although one guy once was like, you should wear all white cotton little girls underwear. And I was like, what? No. Um, anyways, so no one. I've ever like had no one has ever like asked me to do this, but I am thinking of myself here. What if you had a partner that asked you to do that? And in this girl's story, I don't know how she felt about doing this. So that's that's why I'm saying like let's separate her and have this as a different discussion. But like if so, and I know you're saying no one would ask you, but what they might like? What if they did? Had me wear like like Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday <laughs> and I no. think that I would be okay with it if it was like a one-off like he was just trying new scenarios and he was like okay today we're this character but if it was an everyday thing of he really wanted me to be a BB girl then no it's like not I just I, think pedophiles are like actually very sick like twisted they were born wrong and they need to be like sent away yeah I would check his computer like yeah I think they but need to be like sent somewhere so even if they're trying like do you know what i mean like to always be fighting that urge to do something that's so i hear you and it is such a danger to society but like what are they supposed to do and i'm i'm like are they allowed to enact it in a safe way with like i don't know i'm i <laughs> like a bunch of cops <laughs> like cops there, like Okay. I wonder what's you can put your pigtails in now, ma'am. <laughs> I wonder what that's like though. Like imagine being a parent, right? And um you, you you fall you know, you love your baby, he's a sweet boy, he's kind, and then um you know nothing about his sexual preferences or urges, but only to find like later on, like let's suppose at nineteen, that Ugh. he's found out about all his like, you know, child pornography and his computer, like that is a really, really like sad thing to go through because you're probably like, no, this kid is good. Yeah, what do you like, do? Well, yeah. that's like they're like, how do you even shooting at the school? And you're like, oh my god, and they're like, it's your kid. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> when Randy's mean to this one dog, that's how I feel. I'm like, oh my god, my son's the shooter. <laughs> I feel like parents know when their kid's the shooter. That they're like, sounds about yeah, that's, Wait, that tracks. <laughs> didn't our guy play the shooter and he did. Which, who, Ezra. Which, oh, our guy. I love how he's our guy. He what are you, he's our they. <laughs> they is I our guy. I think so. Wasn't he in We Need to Talk About... What's the I never saw it. movie? It's such a dark movie. Um, we, need to talk about Kevin? we Need to Talk About Kevin. Wasn't that Ezra... Miller. Miller? Yeah. I think. I lost he's our guy just because we send... We just send each other every clip of him. <laughs> <It's> like, yeah. 
That's so funny because I just asked Dave to explain to me who that person is, and he did, and I still don't there understand. He is. There he is. So no. you've seen The Perks of a Wallflower, right? No. I read the book. The movie's really sweet. Is it, I was like, is it black and white? He's a really good actor, <laughs> um, but he um, started is... acting up, getting arrested. Oh, okay. um, I think he lived in Hawaii for a couple of years. Just yeah. Freak, like, just causing a whole lot of shit and then but he's also non-binary so all of these articles about him being so disrespectful to people they're like they threw a chair in a woman's head and it's like pretty funny and <laughs> like they're so careful about it and there was some weird situation where he might have groomed a young kid yeah. or was in contact with an underage child but then hollywood has apparently forgiven him in the mm -hmm. last two weeks so now people are like wait what the fuck because, because the flash is coming out and they're like this is too much money we gotta but forgive him well, basically Basically forgiving all of it because of like mental health reasons. Oh, okay. Right. So which is, you know. Yeah. We got to forgive, guys. What we don't forgive, we carry. You may have noticed there's a crazy beverage brand out there and it's called Liquid Death. Listen, listen. It looks did like you guys? Did you guys ever see? By the way, because they're really obviously good at branding. If they can make water this cool, have you seen their clothes? Oh, they're yes. So cool. Oh, their merch is so good. It's Sometimes I like to wear their clothes on a night out. Sometimes I just like to wear them around the house. Either way, it might be cool, but it's definitely comfortable. What I like about mine, Liquid Death Apparel, is not only is it priced right, so I feel like, oh, I'm getting expensive clothes. I also know that it's within my budget, but unfortunately, they don't have any deals. You have to pay full price, don't That's you? That's not true anymore. Our listeners get 20% off their first Liquid Death what? purchase by going to liquiddeath.com slash trash. Who knew water could taste so good in aluminum cans, you guys? And did you know that plastic bottles aren't actually recyclable? They just get sent to landfills, even if you put them in your recycling bin, because they're not profitable to recycle. Liquid Death donates a portion of profits from every can sold to help kill plastic pollution. Oh, and do you know they have iced teas now? Only 30 calories, 6 grams of premium 30 agave. calories per sip. No, no, no. I've tasted it. It's thing. so, it's so <laughs> good. Delicious. You would think so, but no, for the whole can. I <laughs> literally love the, the iced teas that they came out with. My favorite is the Armless Palmer. They're so good. Like, thank you so much for Yeah, existing. and something about drinking an Armless Palmer makes me think I'm being refreshed on Halloween any day I want. You can find Liquid Death's Healthy Thanks. Beverages on Amazon or at a retailer near you. And Trash Tuesday listeners get 20% off their first Liquid Death apparel purchase available exclusively at liquiddeath.com slash trash. Exclusions may apply. That's liquiddeath.com slash trash. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Look, we obviously all need help. Very much better need, help. A lot of help. I, know I need a lot. A lot I need lot. better help. <laughs> better. It's a uh, look. Things have been crazy in this world. Everyone's depressed. Everyone's anxious. Everyone's oh. going through stuff. Yeah. Not you? Thinking? Yeah, I, I just don't like to speak for other people. But I will say one thing I can not concede. We are in a wild world with what's happening in Russia and AI and, you know. AI keeps you up at night? I mean, my, my sometimes my Alexa will just go, wake up! <laughs> so I guess technically, yeah. <laughs> You guys, Wait, I love that. Do it again. Mean, some mean ex. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that a song? Some mean ex girlfriend did that. Um, what? Set that up because you can set your Alexa to do things. So if that would just happen, and is this gonna? Hey, pretty boy, <laughs> you wake up. And then can, it goes rain sounds. <laughs> you can set people's Alexas on this ad too. Jeez. You guys, if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule, Rick. Huh. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash trash Tuesday today to get 10% off your first month. That's right. I hope my sister is listening. That's betterhelp, <laughs> H-E-L-P dot com slash trash Tuesday. Have you guys ever um, met someone and you're like, oh, I'm not attracted to them? Maybe this, <laughs> we talked no. about this earlier. Oh my God, full circle. <laughs> but then you do something super bonding that involves like hours and hours of like just having to spend like intense time Making together. Making an Ikea furniture? Maybe, or anything, right? Like for me, it's like diving, right? And all Getting of out of an Ikea. <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh my God. How the fuck do people get out of there? I don't, I cannot imagine I've gone out of there as many times as I have. It's a freaking maze. It's so scary. I panic all the time. Yeah, go to the Salt Lake City uh, airport. It's the same fucking thing. I want to play hide and seek in an Ikea. We're not finding you. 
I, 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 this for is sure going to be a story of Esther sleeping over. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody wins. <laughs> Esther's she's hiding. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Worst. Fear. But then you're like, oh, my God, like, is there like a weird vibe? But and then you start to think there is no if there would have never been a vibe had we not like had this like bonding experience. Like together. what? Can you give an example of the bond? Like like diving, say, for instance. She's right? basically telling us she fell in love with someone. That <laughs> That's not with. what I'm saying. Maybe. Look at her face. What the hell? So like. She's not shiny. She glows. Who is this She's person? Love. She's pregnant. Who is this? Are you witnessing us? No, it was just a friend. And How annoying would it be if she ended up being the pregnant one? I would not be annoyed. I would be so happy. Are you kidding? Well, I, yeah, I would keep the annoyed. baby now. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I don't care who knocks me up. I'm keeping the baby. You hear that? <laughs> right? <laughs> you hear that fan? She fucks fans, too. Get ready. <laughs> one. One. <laughs> um, no, we, I mean, I'm too, I, I'm too old for an abortion. I can't. Yeah. Oh, God. I mean, I'd be surprised if I could, if, yeah, if no, I got pregnant, that's hooray. Not- Anyways, okay. <laughs> so yeah, like I, I spent like six hours in the water, but it was like really intense. There was no vibe. It was very like friendly, but then like afterwards, you're like, huh? Like, why am I thinking of this person? And I think the same thing for him, where it's like it was so just platonic until it wasn't. But I think it's because of the activity. I, I think the activity did like this. He That's wasn't wh- seeing you as a sister. <laughs> I have a feeling he was going, ooh, maybe if we dive, she me. Do you think so? Yeah. Yeah, so it's I weird. I think he probably would have followed you into a submarine. If you <laughs> risk it all. Wait, can we talk about this? I know. I no, know. we need to talk about the fact that we like are I- predicting... Catastrophes. No, we, about it. I, we should really not talk about anything anymore. We're not allowed We killed to... Ray Liotta. Who else did we kill? Well, you, we killed your ex. Oh, oh the yeah. boy. We killed my finger guy. Your finger guy. Airplane finger guy. I will say we I... We killed was, billionaires, you guys. I was one of those girls who... I basically... Talk about not coming up for air. That was me with the submersible news. Like, I had no life for eight days or whatever. Well, it was... It was, like, obviously tragic but it was like tiger king in a way it like brought us all together it was so <laughs> thrilling i also like it was sad though god no it's so sad i for sure but i would i would go down to see the titanic i would given the circumstances. you would can't yes, swim you don't go <laughs> water you are so full of shit and it's like so crazy anxiety dread anxiety, you're gonna go dread. down it's the titanic no you're nonsense we uh, although i will say that that death is not a slow death that like yeah. high pressure death yeah. is a very quick yes. you're out of there. So maybe maybe it's I ideal. hope he solved his Rubik's cube. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Dave had never seen Titanic. I made him rewatch it with after me. the thing. Yeah, <laughs> sick, he'd never seen it. What Titanic sales soar. <laughs> they did. No, it's Wait, like did Celine Dion's. I my heart yeah. will go on. Like made it to number twelve again. <laughs> we are such. a... This seems like a movie. Yeah. Well, it's just this is this is the power of Titanic. The story is so. That's the power of of uh, Esther King. <laughs> Wait, what did they think of the movie? Well, so he first of all, this is the most our age differences ever showed because Titanic was in theaters in 1998, and that was the year where I was 10 and he was 20, and <laughs> I saw that movie in theaters five times. I was in love. I was obsessed, and Dave was a cool. Too cool for school. He was at Harvard. He was, but he was too cool. He thought it looked so stupid and cheesy and he was like, this movie sucks and he never saw it. So I'm like, we have to watch it. So you're saying he was single. (laughs) He didn't have a girlfriend that was like, we got to go watch Titanic. I feel like he did have a girlfriend, which is weird. But it was like a Harvard girlfriend. They were like, ooh, (laughs) want to play Scrabble? (laughs) But so... He first of all, I will give him credit. Like there are, there's it. The movie is cheesy, but he did admit that he liked it, and it was obviously all so cheesy good. movies are great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the cheesy part is like one of the worst movies, and it's so good. It, is it really one of the worst? Oh, I it's so bad they die together. Come on. Yeah, when I rewatch that, it's and like he's just like we're we fight. That's what we do, and, and then that's we like get... raining and like ah. <laughs> <laughs> so ridiculous. I know when I look back at what I also Jack Dawson is. 
gives me the ick. Like he's not a, he's a broke loser. <laughs> he's pulling her away from a good provider. Like she's- so Billy Zane. Yeah, she's fucking up her whole life. She wouldn't even get on a lifeboat because of Jack Dawson, a man she's known for three days. You know what a I was blonde thinking? man. Wait, you know what I was thinking? The how- lowest men in our society, blonde men. <laughs> I was just thinking about how you were definitely gonna get on the lifeboat Thank because you. you look like a child and a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought about seats. the other day. I was like, she was on that lifeboat. I can get two seats. Now, also... The, what if they found out you were Jewish? What would happen? Mm, I, they would... They'd be like, St- stay in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> but um, also the saddest, horriblest part of the movie is when, like, I... Literally, I don't think I would. I know I sound like a liar. I would not be able to get on a lifeboat and leave behind Dave or my dad. Like, it could not do Your that. Your mom's dead. <laughs> Your sister's gone. No, are you kidding? My mom is on the lifeboat. Bye, sweetie. <laughs> She's not even smiling. Just like, no. <laughs> very matter of fact. Do you know that when I was growing up, we went to the movies, me, my mom, and my dad, and all of a sudden, the theater started to fill with smoke. <laughs> just started filling with smoke fast this is a final destination one of my favorites and i look my mom gone i'm a kid and me and my dad were like what the fuck she literally left without us well did i (laughs) tell you guys did i tell you guys but then you can't take two so you need you needed your mom to do that to relieve you of like when you knew you were already gonna pick your dad if you had to (laughs) you know what i mean wait i have definitely done this what do you mean um and this was when i knew for sure that maybe the boy that i was with i didn't really really love we were on vacation and the hotel like fire alarm went off and i don't i'm not one of those like you know mosey slowly like i if a, an alarm goes off, I'm out. I'm not taking chances. I don't care if it's a drill. I'm getting the fuck out of there and I'm driving my car the fuck away from there. Like, bye. I'm not going back to class. I'm not like, no, no. You, you'll not see me for the rest of the day. If it's a bomb threat, it's oh, there is a bomb there and I'm out. I think that's smart. Yeah, I'm walking. I'm only one running and everyone's just like, it's just, a you know, whatever. I'm like, I don't give a shit. I'm out. Goodbye. Um, But... Um, we were on vacation and the fire alarm goes off at five in the morning. I run down like several blocks away from the hotel in a big t-shirt and my underwear and left him. Why do you have to turn into a porn? <laughs> Nothing but a t-shirt. I was thinking about the Jessica Simpson song. Wait, I, just, I always think of her just being completely bottomless with just a t-shirt. Like on. Winnie Pooh, <laughs> Winnie the yes. Pooh. I'm it's so sorry, but I just realized what you would be doing on the Titanic as it sinks. What would I stand up? <laughs> you keep performing stand up. I think, guys, this is hilarious. <laughs> you'd the band, you'd push them aside and you'd be like, I got this, guys. <laughs> I, I, I Any just... anniversaries? Any birthdays? <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't Kathy Bates that character? She, no, she got on a lifeboat and she wanted to go back. She played Molly Brown. She wanted to go back and save people, but the guy rowing the boat was like, We'll get swamped and we can't do that. Esther's it, only right, right. seen three movies, but she's seen them so many times. <laughs> I know everything. everything. I've also watched a lot of documentaries this past week. Like, okay, wait. So the saddest part of the movie that's so sad, I don't even know why I'm talking about it, but we did try to make it funny, is when they're saying goodbye to the, the daddy. He's like, I'm getting on the daddy's boat. And he's saying goodbye to his daughter. So me and and me and Dave were just like frozen in in sadness and we've been joking all week like the daddy's boat is coming and it's going to be like the man show there's going to be like strippers <laughs> <laughs> the daddy's boat will be even better you'll wish you were on it <laughs> all right can i i want to i want to present a new topic okay hey i realized and maybe this will help with your dread topic a little bit i realized i am in a rush all day long and I was like this is completely Mm self-inflicted and I think I want to do a challenge where I drive the speed limit for one week and see what happens (laughs) it's the most pathetic (laughs) have you ever driven wait you're elderly have you ever driven the speed limit yeah I'm pretty I'm a grandma driver but lately I've been kind of a speed demon a little bit I don't know if I can do it it's so annoying to drive the speed limit what about you Always faster. Oh, I'm speeding. I'm I'm at top speed all time. Do you ever get a ticket? No. I've never I got gotten one, a ticket either. I got one speeding you ticket. You just got to use the breathalyzer. <laughs> Take it out. Was that a euphemism for blowing? Blow, the, yeah, you oh, blow the I got it. Okay, cool. Wait. <laughs> I've never blown a cop, but my uh, my there was a cop in New Mexico who got in trouble for hooking Blowing up you? <laughs> <laughs> they called me the breathalyzer back in college. No, he got in trouble for like banging people that he pulled over oh yeah his own his own camera caught him 
Oh, like Lord. banging. I don't know if it was somebody he pulled over, if he was just like cheating on his wife or whatever, but it was bad. He was on duty. And I like looked it up and I was like, oh my God, that's my friend. <laughs> I, <was> like, <laughs> I know that cop. <laughs> <gasps> that's my favorite cop. I feel I know his kid. That feels bad. Wait, I, you know what I'm not? I you guys have probably forced me to go to this, but um my high school reunion is this weekend. No. Yes. No, I'm right? Coming with. I'm yeah. <laughs> yes, I regret not going to mine. We have the internet. We don't need we already know who got fat. We no. Know, no, we don't. I have the best counterpoint. We're too reliant upon on the screen digital shit. We need more in-person experiences. I think we had different high school experiences. <laughs> okay, so I'm with Annie if, on if this. I'm If I'm returning to my high school, let's just say it's the last day that school's around. <laughs> I'm with Annie. because I'm going to be like Drew Bar Barrymore and Firestarter. <laughs> so high school was horrible for me. Like, it was sad. Like, people called, you know what I mean? I was like... Yeah. It That's was horrible. That's all the more reason for you to go look at you. You're a gorgeous. No, but it's, you don't, they just, but not showing up is the coolest move. You peaked. <laughs> Let's be real, okay? But yours was a 10 year. Or a, you or peaked. A, Your dread is that you can't go back to high school. 20. That's true. I missed my 10 year. I missed whatever. Has I had, has I had 15 yet? Oh my God. Has Maybe. I? I don't think you're allowed to do that voice. <laughs> no, 10. So why did Play you regret it? Talk. That was baby talk, you sick fuck. Wow. Wait, that's a Cancel thing, you know? <laughs> like, baby talk is like a trauma response, apparently. No, we I all... Swear to God. Listen, I baby talk... When Ta Todd tries to trick me to baby talk on live, when I'm doing lives, and it's so embarrassing when he can do it. <laughs> to baby talk in public is it's the worst. It's so the embarrassing, but I do it. I mean, I baby talk everyone in my family. Maybe it's not cute. my mom, but I my like sister. Baby talk. I thought baby talk is like a sign of safety. <laughs> I don't know. I read I differently. So I was like, like I thought breastfeeding your mom still is. <laughs> oh, wait, that's what I wanted to tell you guys. I breastfed a boy and um <laughs> like it it was part of like the role play thing and I I it was so weird and amazing. What has been going on since we last saw you? Wait, why didn't this come up with the the wait, child molester thing? We did with it. I think I forgot. Is this the diver guy? Wait, also, was no, it underwater that No, nothing has happened with it? that diver was guy. Was it underwater? No, it wasn't. Nothing happened, by the way, with that other guy. Like, Why nothing. are you yelling at us? Is she's it going to happen? She's in love. She's yelling at us. No. Oh, nothing. she's mad. Look, she's <laughs> This is like in Hercules. Oh, you love him. I don't love him. No, this is like in Hercules when the girl's like, I won't say I'm in love. I can't. You think I know Hercules? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you think I know? But have you sat there and done a whole- That's my soul hurt. You are such wrote. a dork. It's so I'm funny. I always forget. You guys have never like I just really the fact that I've found a job in bullying you <laughs> it's like I was born to bully theater majors and you're such a theater major it's like <laughs> crazy the fact that we have this it's very special I want to thank you letting the dreams come true but can you just try it with Todd when you get home and with Dave what sit them on your lap and I'm just not do the baby thing Todd and just breastfeed it. them can love you it. try I can't give it to him can you just try and yeah. see how it Todd makes you will, feel? As a joke, be like, "Mama, you know." Todd I want to know how this happened. <laughs> how did you get there? What um, led up to it? It was there was nothing sexual. Like we were just in bed together. He came in it a was bonnet. nothing sexual. He came in in a bonnet. I was already. <laughs> I had a bra with the the strap comes down. And he just like grabbed, you know, like just he just grabbed my <laughs> my a cup, and a cup. and then I was like, "You want it?" And he was like, mama, he did the whole thing. And then it just turned into this whole, it, we, we didn't have sex afterwards. It was just him. We were watching TV and he was like sucking on my tip for like 30 minutes. If we had kids, would you want to have a kid, do you think? What do you if mean? If we got pregnant, would you catch it? What do I want a kid? <laughs> if we got pregnant, would you want Because she's like, obviously. Who's catching it? She's, it is a catching thing. You caught it last time. You caught pregnancy. I'm like hit or miss. You don't know, you think you caught it? Because a lot of your friends from your TV show. Oh it. yeah, you totally, caught it. hundred percent because of Dollface. Uh, and then that the the season ended, and you were like, I'm the only one that hangs out all the time. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was like Shay was pregnant, right. and then Brenda was talking about. We were all talking. It was like the fever. hottest women you know were getting pregnant. Yeah, you know it was you already fully, worship their existence. Fully baby fever, yes, but. I'm really curious about this non-sexual. It wasn't sexual. We didn't have sex afterwards. The, the guy, your yeah. Competition. Who is this guy? Who are we talking about? And he Which didn't. Guy? Okay, diver guy and breastfeeding so guy are two different people. Who's breastfeeding, breastfeeding guy? guy? 
Breastfeeding guy is somebody that I was seeing that I'm no longer seeing. Title of the episode, who is breastfeeding guy? <laughs> question mark, question mark. But he was, he's, he's, he was just really sweet. I don't know. It was nice. I didn't. And then nothing happened afterwards. It wasn't sexual. We were like, okay, we got up. It and, wasn't sexual? No. But it was just something to do. And Again, really, I think he might have been taking it a different way than you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm not having sex with diver guy. I just said, but you no, want you to. are, and nobody even said anything, and you just brought it up again. You no, are in love. No, no, no. I we know you're not because we know you want it to be very slow. <laughs> oh, we yes. that. Yes, you got me. she doesn't want it to be a fast, <laughs> submersible death. <laughs> Did I say it right? Submersible. Yeah. What is it? Submersible. submersible. You said it right the first it, time. You... Submersible. I keep saying. <laughs> Wow, um, I, I'm very curious about Diver Guy. I'm I'm ready for Kalila to get pregnant. Too yeah. soon, guys. Come on. No, nah. it is. How about my I'm going on vacation with my, Bobby in like two weeks? How what? about my parent in laws? No, be pregnant on that. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. Make him like deal get with pregnant it. on it. Make Bobby deal with your pregnancy. Oh my god, maybe. No, we're going on vacation. Just a family, like not not lovers. You guys vacation. are so weird. What the fuck, bitch? It's, it's fucking so family. weird. Family. It's my sister's fortieth birthday, and he asked if he could come. I'm like, of course you can come. Where is it? To the yeah, island. Is- oh, really? Yeah. When is her birthday? Um, the second. Are you staying but- in the same room? Um, no. Plate? Do all three of not- you sleep in the same bed? Who? Me, Jules, and Bobby. <laughs> no, your sister and and Bobby and you. Because <laughs> you said you always sleep in bed with your sister. And we know he's sleeping in bed with Bobby. There is a picture of us. And then Rudy sleeps in the bed too. Jesus Christ. There is a picture of, of Bobby in the middle of my sister and I like sandwiching him in bed. But that was just for the photo. That wasn't like, you know, we don't do that usually. That's like such a hot Asian idea though. family style. What? Sick to fuck? Their little sister, hottie sisters in bed. No. no. You're sick. You've of never me. had a sister, have Why don't you? you go molest a kid with a doll? <laughs> <laughs> you doll molester. You're sick. You're, You're sick. sick. You're sick. You're sick. <laughs> Please like play this video three times through. <laughs> Click the notification bell. Like we are desperate. And also we know that you guys are who truly get us. We know that you'll hook us up and help us out with the algorithm, comments, whatever the fuck. We love you and we'll see you guys next week with a brand new episode. Bye.